Hey everybody, it's Brittany and today it is Monday, October 10th, 2016 and I will be trying to show you guys what a typical day in the life is for me, a dental student. So come and keep on watching if you want to find out. So for breakfast, I think I'm going to eat one of these because bananas are just so, oh my god, they're just falling off. Bananas just get ripe so fast, so I'm going to eat banana. Um, here's my desk. I didn't clean it up because today is a Monday and I usually start at 9 instead of 8. So because of that, I kind of have an extra hour just to study and to catch up on things. So that's why my stuff isn't really packed up because I do want to study after I eat breakfast. So I'm going to eat this really beautiful banana. And I'm going to make myself kind of like an omelette type breakfast. So the time right now is 7.30 and we have little less than an hour to study before I go to school. So let's get studying. So it is now 8.15 and I just finished um, studying or basically yesterday I wanted to learn um, one lecture and I didn't get to do that because I was kind of getting sleepy at around 1. So um, I decided I would finish it up tomorrow and I did and I'm very happy because I basically finished five minutes before I usually like go to school. Um, so I do start at nine like I said but I usually um, leave 40 minutes before basically because I live 15 minutes away about and sometimes there's traffic. Also um, parking and also if the parking lot isn't right next to my classroom so that's difficult and i have to like walk extra 10 minutes so that's why i leave 40 minutes before so i swear i'm not crazy hi hi oh, this is a video i'm out <laughs> <laughs> um this week we're gonna take an anatomy quiz tomorrow and then we have a first sexual test in restorative dentistry and another wax quiz, which is always fun. Yeah. It's the blood pumping. Yeah. Yeah. So, to do this week. Busy, busy week. Yeah. Hey, what did we just do? I studied. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ham and cheese. And chicken salad. Pretty impressed. Okay. Uh, I would have to say the average score was probably about 9293, which is really high. Okay. So right now it is almost 5.30 and just came back from lab, restorative dentistry lab and what we had to do was we had to um, basically recreate the lingual part of the canine, the maxillary canine, but I didn't get to finish mine even when I had three hours to do it, it just wasn't, you know, perfect. But that's why I'm a student and I'm here to learn, you know? 5.30, 
but I have to go back and back home. I have to study because tomorrow I have an anatomy quiz. So dental school is just like a lot about managing your time and everything, which I'm still trying to get a hang of. But yeah, the like the hand work, like the waxing and everything is really kind of like making me discouraged. I feel like every Monday and Wednesday, which is the days that we have restorative lab, um, like I get really sad sometimes because I feel discouraged because I didn't do it right or anything like that. But um, I know I'll get better. I mean, this is only like my third week of doing that stuff. And like we ought to start from somewhere. Like people aren't just gonna be like naturally good. Or even if they are naturally good, like they have to like hone in their skills, you know? matching pants kind of matching socks we've got the coordinating top so after a long day at school I usually take uh, like an hour or so to kind of like take time for myself I guess especially if I get home like after five um, I guess it's like nicer to like have breaks rather than just go straight into studying and like stressing again. What I like to do on my breaks is I like to watch It's Judy's Life. They are my favorite vloggers. I love their family. I watch them every single day. Another thing that I do is I take a shower, I eat, and then by then I kind of have to like convince myself to study again. But I think today my break is going to be cut a bit short because like I said, Earlier, I do have an anatomy quiz tomorrow, and it covers like four lectures, I think, about four lectures, so I have to make sure that I know them very well. Um, yeah, typical day, this is what a typical day looks like. I'd say besides like the lab stuff, that that's like the only thing that really stresses me out. Um, also, getting behind on class. I feel like one of the most stressful parts of dental school is just managing your time like I said earlier like how much time you want to allocate to this and that and this but you guys also have to remember to take like breaks because you can get burnt out really fast and like it can get overwhelming so like make sure to take some time off for yourself you know what I mean so update it is now 10 p.m. and remember how I said that I had four lectures to look over? Well, I've only gone through, not even finished the first lecture and I'm kind of a little worried. How I've been studying for it today at least is that I read the lecture slides and my notes and then I did my flashcards but then I'm finding that it's kind of taking way, way too much time. I don't want to sleep too late. It's kind of funny because I planned out my day yesterday or like what I wanted to study and like get done. And this is all the stuff that I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to, this I did this morning. And then I wanted to read all my lectures and then review these flashcards and then make new flashcards for one of my classes and then review um, two lectures of physio. I feel like that is not humanly possible to get all that stuff done, uh, but sometimes things don't go as planned. Hey everyone, it is 12.50 a.m. right now, 10 minutes to 1 a.m. and I'm finally done studying for my anatomy quiz for tomorrow. Uh, by the way, in anatomy, what we're learning about right now, or what we're being tested on, uh, is about cartilage, bone, integumentary system, that kind of stuff. Is that how you say integumentary? Well, basically it's a integument, like the skin and nails. That is pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed seeing a typical day of a first year dental student, then please subscribe to my channel and like this video for more dental student related videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.